What's going on everyone? It's RJ from Backyard Sprouts and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to make a simple dish today utilizing your sunflower microgreens and your red rambo radish microgreens and that is all coming up next. What's going on everyone? It's RJ from Backyard Sprouts and in today's video what we're pretty much going to cover is we're going to show you guys a simple little recipe or dish that you can create using uh, sunflower microgreens and red rambo radish microgreens. A lot of questions uh, coming up in the microgreen world because they are still relatively up and coming. They're still fairly new if you are not uh, in the culinary world, um, you, you start, you're probably starting to see all these microgreens pop up and you're like, what are they? And boom, you go into a farmer's market or you see one in the store and you buy yourself a superfood, nutrient-packed microgreen and you're like, awesome, I'm super excited. Now what do I do? <laughs> what do I do with these? That is the biggest question in uh, the food area, if you're not a chef, if you're not in the restaurant industry, what can you do with these things if you don't want to just use them as a garnish? And we are going to show you guys today how to make a simple salad recipe that is my personal favorite. It is so easy to make. The only thing you guys will need is pretty much a base of some sort. And what I mean by base is whether that's your choice of lettuce, spinach, uh, whatever else you want to put in there. Lettuce or spinach are my pa personal favorite choices. And then you pretty much top them with some sunflower microgreens and top them with a little bit of kick, a little bit of spice from the Red Rambo radish microgreens. Uh, the other ingredients you're going to need is just a fresh cut lemon and some really good olive oil. If you don't have access to super fancy olive oil, just get yourself extra virgin olive oil and some smoked salt if you really, really want to up the flavor. Um, other than that, Alex just used normal salt and she said it was still ultra delicious, all right? But if you want to take it a step up, use uh, some smoked salt and you won't regret it, all right? So let's go into the ingredients. I'm gonna change the camera angle here in a bit. All right, you guys, so here are our ingredients. Uh, today I'm using a uh, butter crunch lettuce. This is harvested fresh from Alex's beds. So they are super delicious and they are super fresh. So super excited. So that's the base I'm going to use. Like I said, you can use pretty much any base. You can use spinach. Um, if you want arugula, you can toss in some arugula in there. But my personal favorites are just lettuce and or spinach, right? So first thing we're going to do as we create this first salad is this is all just pretty much based on how much you want. So I'm going to top it with some nutrient-packed sunflower. You can put as little, you know, the beauty of this is you can put as little or as much as you want. And I'm going to, I really love sunflower. So let's put in a bunch. After that, I'm going to top it with some red rambo radish to give it a little bit of kick. Again, you can put in as much as you want. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is we're going to take our olive oil. And again, in terms of fanciness, you could just get normal extra virgin olive oil. I just have some really good extra virgin olive oil right here. And again, your amount is just based on how much you like. So I'm going to put a little bit, just a little over the top. Take a little bit of the smoked salt, and this smoked salt is Malden, Malden smoked salt, Maldon. <laughs> Just a little sprinkle on top, and then take your freshly cut lemon and just squeeze it. Go ahead and give it a nice stir. Mmm, smells delicious. It's that lemon citrus factor. And as you can tell, the red rambo radish 
not only is packed with nutrients and antioxidants, but it gives the salad itself a little bit of pop, a little bit of color. That's it. And that's it guys. I mean, it is a very simple salad and it is very easy. Ingredients are super easy. Oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. It's so fresh. It's so light. It's 90 something degrees here in the Carolinas and this thing just keeps it so fresh and so light. Ah, ah, so good. And the beauty of the, the salad is, it's all up to your preference. It's all up to your preference. Do you want a little bit of more olive oil? Do you want some more lemon? Squ squeeze some more lemon. Do you want some more salt? Sprinkle some more salt. Salt bay this salad. Do whatever you need to, to make it tasting however you want it to taste. But the beauty of microgreens, guys, is you can put them on anything. Anything. This video is just how to add them onto a salad and you know, what you would normally have as a base of greens and then whatever else you have on there, now you have it nutrient packed, action packed with some sunflower microgreens, some radish microgreens, so now you're just upping the nutritional value exponentially because microgreens are pretty much superfoods, right? If you guys haven't done any research on it already, and maybe it's a video Alex and I will go over, but just nutri nutritional facts of the microgreens, they are literally considered superfoods. Go to WebMD, type what are microgreens, type nutritional facts of microgreens, and you'll see that they are four to 40 times more nutritious than their adult counterparts, and that is ridiculous, right? So by adding those, you're making your salad ultra nutritious, exponentially, ultra delicious, and just damn good. So, with that being said, I'm going to close this video, it's a short one, it's how to make a microgreen salad, and what to do with your sunflower, your rab radish, you could put peas in here, you could put um, spicy salad mix, you could put broccoli uh, micros, the combinations are limitless, and that is awesome. We're probably going to release more of these, um, you know, as people are starting to get acquainted with microgreens, they're asking, hey, what else can I do with them? And Alex and I would love to show you guys what we do with our microgreens, but it's not always up to us, right? We need some of your guys' help. So if you guys are doing some fascinating, some delicious things with microgreens, with sunflower, radish, peas, let us know, share them, right? Share them to the community. <laughs> we hope you guys found that video useful. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. And as always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we'd absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure. And we'll see you guys next time. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to continue to smash this freaking salad. <laughs>